about this last interview much better. So let's just talk about the experience during your time in the military. I found it to be very inclusive. I grew up in a very small town, um, Norton, where diversity really wasn't existent. And when I joined the military, I got to meet people from different walks and ways of life, from different places. I got introduced to so many different cultures and so many different people who became family to me as um, I went on to different duty stations. Um, many, in fact, I'm still in contact with today, um, thanks to social media. Uh, I look at the, my time in the Air Force as one of the best decisions I made in my entire life. And my life became so rich as a result of my experience. It taught me that I have a responsibility to focus on respect. When you enter a room, uh, especially during a training phase, um, you're really expected to see who's in the room and see if someone is higher ranking than you so that you can defer to them if they're in charge. And I think that's a skill and a, um, I think it's something we really need to focus on, especially in school. We walk into a room, there's a lot of people um, and we need to see who's in charge. We need to see what our role is. And I think in the military, there's a very clear way to know that. In school, it's a little more difficult. Uh, but for me, uh, whenever I walk into a room, I really scan the room and I think who, if I was in the military, would deserve a salute, right? And who should maybe be saluting me. And I think it's important to show respect that way through position, uh, age, uh, in the military, obviously, is rank. And I think that that obviously works in a school too when we have people in different years of study and um, people in different roles in the school. And I think that military model really does um, work to help you know who you're dealing with and who you're talking to and help us get along and show respect as well as get the respect that we deserve. And I just want to say that one thing the Army taught me was the importance of being determined, having determination. And uh, while I was in, there was always a lot of difficult tasks that weren't easy to do. But what it forced a person to do, it forced me to do, was to dip deep, dip, dig deep down inside myself so that I could accomplish the task and not let myself or my team down. I chose to highlight Determined from Brockton's Pride Initiative. Uh, during my time in the Army, there were countless times when being determined made the difference between success and failure. Uh, whether I was trying to pass a course, complete a training exercise, or a real-world mission, being determined to not only succeed but excel was one of the primary keys to success. Uh, for myself and the other paratroopers in my unit, determination to stay focused and not to give in to fatigue or pain was crucial. And probably the most important part of being determined was being determined to not let my brothers down. Uh, we relied so heavily on each other, uh, the thought of not being there to back one of us up uh, was not even a consideration. That's why I picked determined. So thanks for listening. Happy Veterans Day. Thanksgiving coming up, we asked boxes what their favorite Thanksgiving dish was. Alright, my favorite Thanksgiving dish, this is going to blow everybody's mind. It's the leftover, it is the gobbler calzone. You take a big sheet of pizza dough and you put all the leftovers in. You put your turkey, you put your stuff in, you put your cranberry, whatever you want, you throw it in there, you throw that gravy on top, you cook, you fold it over, you cook it, you have the leftover Gobbler Calzone. Boom! My family has this mac and cheese dish. It's homemade. Uh, it's, it's amazing. It's got like eight different cheeses with a layer of cheese on top. It's nice and crispy and like a breadcrumb finish. It's delicious. I love it. I uh, like my onion pie. My sister-in-law is very good at cooking. You know, the way she, 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 she puts it together. I always enjoy it, always looking forward to it every year. So in my family we have this thing that we call cheesy potato salad and we make it one day a year it's on Thanksgiving and it's basically uh, potatoes and cheese and bacon and mayonnaise and it's so bad for you but it's delicious and it's a thing that's special for my family. My favorite Thanksgiving food is big mac and cheese. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Mine is also baked mac and cheese. The texture, everything. Or like some like authentic CB food. Um, my favorite is baked mac and cheese too. I'm just a cheese girl. I love it. I think everybody likes baked mac and cheese, especially with the breadcrumbs on top. Bombs. Yes. <laughs> Real good. <laughs>